guys, we're here at a t Kettlebell Club in Fishkin, New York. Um, so what we're going to be doing is um, we're going to be trying to give you guys tips. I'm going to be bringing in different people, um, the, the spotlight them and, and some of their uh, awesome talents. So it's just going to be um, just tips for better lifting and just feeling better. All right, so today on our first one, who we have with us today is Mike Martinez. Uh, I know you guys have seen him a lot on the uh, at Kettlebell the competitions. You've seen him working the mace. You've seen his videos on Instagram doing the mace. But a lot of you guys, some of you do already know, he's an awesome mobility specialist. So he's gonna take it here and he's gonna show us some uh, different things mobility wise for kettlebell lifting. Cool, thanks Aaron. Uh, so big thing for kettlebell lifters is our legs. Uh, first starting from the ground up, big thing I see with a lot of lifters are tight ankles and tight calves. To release the ankles, what we're going to do today is just sort of smash up the gastrocnemius and the soleus. And if you don't know what any of those mean, it just means we're going to smash the big bulbous piece and then we're going to take care of the little piece. Then afterwards, we're going to go through and make sure our ankle gets some nice glide to it. To make simple equipment for kettlebell lifters, congratulations, you have a kettlebell so you have your equipment. Booms, two things are done. So, Aaron's gonna be my, uh, my testee for the day. He's gonna show him what we're gonna do. So simply, all we need to do is just first get down, find the area of stiffness and tightness. Again, we're gonna start at the big bulbous piece. And all he's gonna do is first put his leg on top and relax his toes. From here, Aaron's probably ready to tell you that, that probably feels something. If you have a really good friend or someone that really cares and loves you a lot, they can apply some a little bit of gentle pressure on top here, smile while you're doing so, and then just gently rotate that person's leg back and forth. Aaron's being a champ. Ideally, you want to go side to side and break up all the medial and lateral fibers of this tissue, and also to give our friend a good time. Now, if Aaron was doing this on his own, all he would do is just glide his leg back and forth. And then to sort of make sure his toes are feeling pretty good, he can flex his toes up and down. And he'll feel each time he flexes and extends that he's going to get some good vibrations down to the bottom of his foot. Over here, areas of stiffness are going to be the prolongest nerve right across the along that lateral border. That's where you're going to feel probably a really thick guitar string. Right about there. Okay, so just be mindful when you're getting that area, don't irritate it too much. Now we're going to come a little further down the soleus. Just think below the teardrop is where we're looking to hit. We're not trying to bust up anything on the Achilles. So we're just above it. Again, just rest the leg on there. If you have a friend, we're going to apply a little gentle pressure. On this side, the lateral portion shouldn't hurt so much. Maybe not. But this medial side, as he rotates in, we're going to hit the posterior tip. For all our jerking that we do for a long cycle and for people that you jerk, your posterior tib anchors down right into the arch of your foot. So this area is going to need a lot of love and care after a long week, day of training. Again, for here, we're just going side to side. Roughly, we're looking for about two minutes of love on each area, more than enough. Again, if Aaron was doing this by himself without me, he would just go side to side. And he can explore all the different little fibers in there, flexing his toes up and down. And then down here, he can even make some foot circles. He'll feel everything click and pop and cracking. All the good stuff. Cool. After we're done with that, Aaron's going to pop on up. We're going to do some ankle glides just to sort of make sure we get some looseness there. All we're going to do is just post that leg over. And all he's going to do is just gently glide over while keeping the heel on the ground and then coming back to neutral. Glide over, come back to neutral. Trying to keep the foot nice and flat. You can do this with or without your lifting shoes on or sneakers. We just both got done. And the cool part is like go down and push all the way through. Cool. Now show them your other side that we didn't manipulate. Should have, yep, no flexion. As you can see, if I pushed him further out here, his heel's gonna come up. So just by that simple manipulation, about two minutes on each piece, you get some nice lovely legs, and you shouldn't have it also stop any foot pain. Cool? Perfect. So <clears throat> what I'm gonna do, guys, 
Um, if you're interested in, in working with Mike, I, I will have some of his information on, uh, on the, at the end of this video. And um, I'll have the, a link for his uh, Instagram also. Um, so, like I said, if you like it, like, like the video, share the video. Uh, real quick, um, if I can have my, my lovely wife uh, turn the, the phone just a little bit. Got to give a big shout out to the sponsor, Kettle Guard. Um, if you need any kind of wrist protection for kettlebell lifting, please check them out, kettleguard.com. And uh, look, forward to, look forward to us having more videos coming to you. All right? Have a good night, guys.